Hi, my name is Kenny Wang, and today I will be talking about the scatterplot widget in Orange. To begin, we first set up our file, which is using the iris data, uh, a data set about flowers. And then we set up the scatterplot. To run through the basic attributes of the scatterplot, we have the x-axis attribute, which we are set to pedal width. We have the y-axis attribute, set to pedal length. We have the point color, which is the iris and we can see that we can change the colors here. Additional point properties include point labels, so we can set a label to each individual point, point shape, if, if we want to change the visualization of the graph, and point size. Uh, we also have these tools right here, zoom, rectangle selection, polygon selection, remove last selection, remove all selections, and send selections. At the bottom we have save graph and report. This middle bar right here, VizRank, is the optima, is the algorithm uh, used to categorize and visualize the space in between the red, green, and blue. It is a bit too advanced with this tutorial, uh, so further tutorials will cover that. On to settings, we have uh, properties of the points, including symbol size, transparency, and jittering. Jittering is an option uh, that will be discussed using the second data set. However, it is very important when uh, examining points which overlap significantly. Then general graph settings, we have the x-axis title, the y-axis title, showing the scales of both axes, showing the legend, showing symbols, and showing grid lines. Uh, there is anti-aliasing, which is a way to smooth out the image of the graph to show the probabilities which is very important uh, to find a visual representation of the data. We can set the colors, we can show visible attributes, and we can automatically send data when we add or remove selection areas and move and resize selection areas, which is very important for an efficient workflow. Now on to uh, some changing of, of, of attributes. For example, should a researcher be interested in looking at pedal width versus sepal width to see if there's any causal relationship we have the option right here uh, for the more pedal width versus sepal length to see if there's any relation there and anything in between and this is an example of using this widget scatterplot to visualize data and to find uh, a very obvious correlation between width and length furthermore we can move on to the Titanic data set, which is represented by File 2 and Scatterplot 2. And this is the Titanic data set, which shows a status of no or yes of survival, crew, first, second, third, uh, and age, adult or child. As we can see, because these points obviously have no, inter uh, uh, have no intermediate between them, there is no intermediate between considering a child and an adult, and there is no first point five crew or second point five crew uh, we can see that these points almost all match up to each other. So, in cases like these, where relevant data can still be extracted, however the points are uh, continuous on top of each other, we use the jittering option. Jittering is a tool by which uh, data points become uh, apart, is a, is, is a good word for it. And so by increasing the jittering, we can better visualize discrete data. So at a jittering rate of 5, this is what the data looks like. Whereas if we set a jittering rate of 15, data looks like this. And even further for jittering rates of 40, where data looks like this. And when we do this, we have to realize the axes of the graph are necessarily skewed in order to, to illustrate all the various and separate data points here. This has been a presentation of the main aspects of the scatterplot. For any further questions, please contact me by email at kenneth.wong at ncf.edu. Thank you.